Hey everybody, Hollowed here, and today is a very special day, I would say. It marks the first series on my channel, and hopefully it will spark further series in the future. In August, in celebration of my wife's birthday, our, our friends and I decided to do an arc world on her birthday to celebrate it. So we decided to play on Fjorder, and the people jo that joined us was Kurt, Nathan, William, and James made a surprise appearance for the first few days that we played. Um, like I said, we played on Fjorder, and we decided to play on Fjorder because it had the most dinos, and it was also her favorite map to play on. So sit back, relax, and welcome to Jur- Wait. Oh, wait. What the- what the hell is my strip? What the fuck? Oh. Sorry. It's directly in front of me. Here. This is what I meant to say. So sit back, relax, and come join us on our journey in Ark Survival Evolved. Now since I already went out of my way and scouted this map, I already had preloaded, so no scratchy feeling, but we have a curious feeling about the thing in our arm. Luckily, Nathan had spawned right by us, so we invited him to our beautiful tribe, Tribe of Human. And then there was a beautiful, sexy, Selene hot mama named Summer, who was also right by us. And we had invited her to the tribe as well. I had a level up, but you know, who the fuck really cares about that shit? I run up to this tree in inches of my life just to make some shitty little pickaxe. And then, you know, since I had beaten this tree mercilessly with my bare knuckles, I died. Guys, I'm making I'm about progress. To death. I respawn back to where we were and I make my way back, making sure to pick up, you know, stones and sticks and stuff that I would use to get back up there. I gather all my necessities, which is all shit, and then I I beat my meat. What the what fuck? fuck? Meat. He has meat. After witnessing whatever whatever the hell Summer was doing with that body, I had walked towards them uh, where they had already campfires had set, and I tried to get a little further out to get resources to help either make another fire or whatever so we can stay warm because we were freezing um so i take my uh my meat and uh i put it in the fire to make sure it cooks all thoroughly and as i'm doing that trying to check the temperature and all that i notice james is there with his big ass hands and i invite him to our tribe so we become an even stronger tribe of human where are you james oh you're right here yeah big ass hands dude i i invited you to my tribe after James had successfully joined our tribe, I saw a little body behind him. You can't see it right now. And I decided to go towards this body and recover some of the meat that was left on it. But after cheekily getting some of this meat, <laughs> get it, but cheek, please, please just fucking laugh at my joke. Please, I'm begging you on my hands and knees, please fucking laugh. Anyways, I stay in the warmth. I am actually getting, you know, strong and big enough you know, big boy energy, and I was actually able to leave the warm and sadly have to go gather for my friends that uh, the necessities that we needed, like some wood, some thatch, some berries, some fiber, and I kept doing it until um, the, the cold almost uh, took my uh, sweet little life. After a long day of work of uh, doing all the big things for my group, uh, I made myself some clothes finally, and I made myself a weapon of destruction or spear and then i proceeded to take uh my handsome self my my beautiful handsome self and i decided to work on our house so as i'm gathering fiber nathan goes on a little side mission to knock out a fucking dodo and then it ends up taming right next to me you're toto tamed fun fact in the arc world nathan would follow this um this weird interest with peanut buster um, something from Dairy Queen. After he tamed Peanut Buster, I saw Summer having troubles with a dodo that apparently took her, um, her stuff. So, through self-defense, we killed the dodo. I proceeded to then put her dodo meat in the campfire. And as I'm wandering around minding my business, uh, I see a dodo look at me a little funny. And as an American, I take it as my national right to exercise my Second Amendment and murder this dodo. Legally, of course. I'm gonna need some hide. Come here, dodo. 
taking your insides. As I proceed to take the insides from the stodo, I make my way towards the fire, but I do see Summer uh, on a little side mission with a pink dodo, and uh, we proceed to kill this innocent dodo. I take the meat that I had helped Summer with originally, and mine, and then combined ours together and put it in the fire. Then Nathan and I decided to finally start working on the house, or adding more to it. But due to us um, building it on a cliff and arcs, um, way of having such a shitty building system it gave us a lot of problems and it made us feel even dumber than we already are oh my god this is so annoying it's built on a hill so i can't like line it up this is so gay i'm gonna destroy Nathan. after sitting there and des destroying our beautiful home that was supposed to be the most beautiful thing in the whole world um I proceeded to move further up the hill while having such a fat load on me that it was a little hard to walk. So I just kept moving further up and up the hill to find the right spot, which I did. Then after... Ooh, I've been using after a lot in this fucking session. Holy shit, I'm just realizing that. But I soon realized that I didn't have enough foundations. So my dumbass sat there and decided to make storage bins so it'd be easier for me to get a lot of more materials to help myself mass produce this house. So then I made the two storage bins and I placed them on our foundations and then I let everyone know in the, the group to place all their valuables in there. And by valuables, I just mean resources that we all had because we were all poor as fuck. Now since uh, the house was still being made and all that, um, some of the neighbors were really eager to come meet their their new neighbors that are going to be living by for a little while, and this 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 neighbor really took a a great attraction to one of our friends in the group. What? <gasps> go towards him, James. Oh yeah, you have to go in the water. Now, when the neighbor was finally done addressing everyone in the group, especially James, with their, their great present, I uh, proceeded to go back at work to make sure our, our walls were nice and secure and they had a nice home that they could walk into the next time they saw us. Now, as I'm going out to get some fiber and I'm bringing all the goodies home with all the berries and the stuff that we all need, I notice a very friendly face again. All trying to get a little too friendly with one of our, our newest companions in the series. I think Peanut Butter's dead. <laughs> he went to a... <laughs> there is an Andrew Sarkis right by him. There was already a thing. He is saying, I'm watching. I'm watching it happen. It's just I'm a dodo. <laughs> He's just sitting Aww. there. It's okay, I got another Peanut Butter in front of me. Now, I want to give a shout out to James as he is... um such a courageous man and deserves to be awarded whatever the highest thing for bravery is i don't know what the fuck it is whatever it's called the medal of honor i don't know something of that nature but he deserves it because he risked his life to save peanut buster now while i was organizing everything i was able to get enough um materials to fate place the rest of the foundations down and as i'm doing all the work of getting this house down for everyone to live in we get hit by a pop-up message that was really scary. Oh, I want to kill this. I want to kill you. Shelby. Shelby. Who's Shelby? On somebody's base? Someone who just joined the ARC. They're not by me. That's crazy. Spawn camping is crazy. I then proceed to start placing the walls down and realize that I put the bins a little too close to the wall or like the edge of the foundation so it was like clipping and i had to sit there and destroy them but hold on do you hear that no chance no way i won't say it oh no give up 
get in, check the graveyard and laugh. This it's is too cliche. I, won't I don't know what verse it is. <laughs> I thought my like... heart had learned its lesson. <laughs> it felt so good when you it, uh, it's star. It, it, it basically, whenever you craft like a bro blueprint, like a shotgun or something, like one of the weapons. It has like a chance to add uh, some other like uh, <laughs> modifiers on it or something. Oh no! Let's go to trees. No chance, no way. I won't see. My house it is I built. Know. So after that beautiful, beautiful duet that you just heard from both of them singing, uh, that I completely fucking ruined because I wanted to be selfish and talk about some weird blueprint stuff. I placed the storage bins that I had originally destroyed and put everything back in there. When I witnessed. The man that I thought deserved uh, the, the top reward for bravery do one of the most heinous crimes I've ever fucking seen in my life. This motherfucker deserves capital punishment and death by firing. Oh, I see it. <laughs> no. Wait, isn't the entrance Peter Buster. Here? No, he roamed away. After that disgusting act displayed by what was believed to be a hero of the tribe, um, I continued to put resources away and eat all the food that we all had since i was a starving but a starving fella i proceeded to then do the most fun thing ever in arc which is resource gathering i just kept grabbing resources from wood to thatch to fiber anything you could think of i got it and i was doing that Practically the entire time until I eventually got basically all the walls up, except for maybe um, like two or three parts of the wall and the ceiling almost done. Then I did even more to finish the house. And I was finally able to finish this stupid fucking house. Whenever I finished the house, I proceeded to then do the exact same thing I had been doing for like the last like hour. And just gather more resources. We didn't have a whole lot. I just kept gathering um, wood, thatch, and fiber. But I also moved for moved more towards flint and stone. So I gathered, and I gathered, and I gathered as many resources as I could. And while um, I was getting all that sorted out, um, William was had a little bit of trouble, which went in the world. So I had to help him understand how the arc menus and all that stuff work but as i am helping william figure out this this problem with the arc servers um james gets a friendly visit from two people in the neighborhood watch and they soon help him pay for the crimes that he had just committed on peanut buster how do i join uh okay you go. Do you know what a peanut buster is? You go buy one of those. Tell me how it is, and oh then I'll let you join. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> then explain how to join. Uh, you You're press join it. arc. Uh, make sure it's on official servers. And then there's like this little uh, okay. arc at the top. You're going fast, okay, Ethan. Sorry. Fuck. 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 No, wait. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Name filter. Oh my god! Oh my god, this Bronto's <laughs> cooking. Ow! Fuck! Oh fuck! What the fuck? fuck. At the top, but, but um, make sure it's mm -hmm. on the correct map. You'd want to be on Fior. Fedor? Something like Fjorder. that. Fjorder. Fjorder. What's the name? Is it in the Discord you said? Fjorder. Yeah. Yeah. You just put in the numbers. Which can I kill those terror? Yeah, part? I'm waiting for it to kill it so I can harvest their meat. What oh, channel did you put it in? Uh, Jordan. I think. Okay, I think it's in general. It's, it's in general. You think I'd be able to go up and take their meat? Yeah, it's not gonna harm you. I wanna take the meat! I'll get one terror bird. No, I wanna take the Come meat. On, please, take me on a date first. Why is he standing on I'm this? taking our meat. So after that juicy revenge on that little blind bastard, James, we return to the house and we start putting meat um away to cook you know putting our meat in the fire and um nathan soon warns us about a problem that 
ended up being really bad. Uh, blood extraction syringe. I can already get that. Guys, you guys yeah. got raptors coming to you. There's no way. So after those escaped convicts on the news are sought to be maybe near our area, um, I make the very smart decision. Instead of staying in the house, maybe getting prepared, making bolas, doing things like that to maybe um, stop these convicts, I remember that um, when we spawn, we're right by a little boat area with little crates that would give us crossbows and metal tools and stuff like that. So I run all the way over there just for a friendly surprise from those said convicts. Ow, 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 there's a raptor. Oh my fucking god. I told you. I then realized we never placed a bed or a bag, so I had to respawn at the, the, the set cords. And throughout these attempts, I ended up dying repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly. So here is all those fun times of me being stuck there for about two hours, just dying. Epiphany I'm dead. I'm will dead. look Ethan, fantastic. Ethan, I'm dead. Ethan, I'm dead. Ethan, I'm dead. Well, why are you dead? Make it attack the Parasaur. How can I make it attack it? You just gotta run, it, run in front of it or run by it. I did. I'm gonna spell it a crazy way. Oh, it's chasing the Parasaur Slay. What is it? It's a raptor, but I don't know what level it is, or I would try to take it on. Wait, do I go to ba Vardalin North, you said? Yep. Easy. Yes. Yes. Is it Vardalin or Vandalin? Vardalin. Vard. Vardalin. Vardalin. Vard. Okay, guys. My character's name is oh. Tiffany, but it's spelled T-Y-F-F-O-N-I. Ethan, I need help. I, I, to I died. It's gonna attack the house, though. Oh my god, wait. There's multiple. I think I'm already being attacked. Yeah, it's like a pack I of woke them. up. And it's I a... think I'm dead. Okay, guys. Where you at? I'm on the beach. Ethan, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm looking for you. I don't see you. I don't know where the other ones went, but I did kill one. They may have ran off a little bit. It doesn't look like your house is standing anymore. Oh, hi, Are James. you close to the giant tree or away from the giant tree? Um, I'm in... If you guys go to the coordinates like if you guys look on your map oh i'm about to fuck like, you up oh come on here on the 60 come here on the the <clears throat> i know how to get anything coordinate. With my so if x is the bottom and what okay I so you're on 60 on, on the left them. 60 on the left and then like 23 on the on the oh bottom. get fucked you see that throw i did see okay. that oh if you run that are you, you on the beach running that way Ow. yeah Ow. Yeah. If you keep okay. running Ow. that way, you'll see There's us. piranhas. <laughs> I'm crazy. I just took out Are you those guys in the water? Oh my god, it's oh, so it's a ducky. Yeah. Hello, ducky. Hello. Hello, ducky. Hello. You're just gonna have to run along the beach line, cause yeah, we're like right on the, the shore. The the cords, if I remember, are like. I'm I'm I, I'm following Nathan's Are 55 and like. 35. Uh, just run down I'm the beach. Six run down the 25. beach towards the tip of the island. That, yeah. Like, goes the, oh, the, fuck. It's the where the, like, the white trees are. And oh, wait, no. That bitch is fine, is. right? Wait, yeah, I don't know. That's how it. His map is. That's the, I think it's the, the egg raptor. Oh, wait, what the fuck is this on the ground? There's a pussy on the ground. Sorry. I forgot mine. <laughs> oh, someone just walked by oh, me. My Who's that? Oh, my God. Oh my god. Water right oh my god. James. Oh my god. Do not go in the water. Do not go in the water. Do not go in the oh water. Oh my god. Oh, is that you? Yeah. That's a fucking oh. You gotta invite him to the tribe. Oh, yeah. Here. Why are you. Hold like on. Uh, <laughs> I just randomized. He always looks goofy as fuck. Just ignore him. Oh, wait. Do it again. Oh, wait. I see. I have to hold it for a long time. Yeah, there you go. I'm in the tribe. I need to eat some more technical. I, I fall and die. Where are we going, buddy? Oh, I died. Did you just... I'm waiting for, like, uh, something okay. to bite me, well, but nothing has yet. I'm on my way somewhere! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. 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 <laughs> what? I don't know. Something went... And I was like, okay. What's she? Oh, is she a Therizino? No, she's not feathery. What's built like a Therizino, but not? <laughs> Raptor? 
It's like big, like a. Think oh, it's, there's, it's an Andrew Sarkis. Oh, do those ah, fucking bitches? <laughs> I hate these little compies. They want to be me so bad. It's crazy. I mean, when uh, mind your business. Okay, I'm at sixty twenty-five, and I see a giant um, That's a bitch ass. Six. What are they called? I see one of those boys. <gasps> I swear to God, if something is sneaking Wait, up where on you my at? coochie right now. Sorry. I I see. I see. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's not a compi. That's not a compi. That's not a compi. She's she's got big legs. Wait, so what you're the fuck down was this that? way, I think. Summer, something huge just attacked me. Oh, it's a car now, I think. T. Okay. <laughs> oh, I am. You in the beach Do you see a waterfall? Yeah, please help me. Do you see a waterfall? Please help Not me. Currently. Summer, but are you? I think I. Summer, what? there's a T-Rex up what? there. I don't know if it followed me, but it's behind me. Where? What the fuck? Oh, I don't see it from here. It's up there. Okay, you didn't follow me. I was are so close. Like I was like in sniffing the mountain, distance. Are you like on the beach? No, on the we're beach? we're on. I'm on the shore right now. Oh my god, I see the T-Rex. Wait. Oh wait. Oh, so I you're close okay. to where I was at. I'm on okay, the wait, opposite shore here? of the T-Rex. Like I'm on a, I'm across a river. Wait, okay. So she's, you see a T-Rex? She's across, but the, are you, are you she's on across the, beach? the street from me. Yeah. Well, I'm on like a shore. Okay, there, I wouldn't call it like the there's beach. There's no beach. It's like a river, on not the an ocean. Beach. She's a little bit up. She's towards like the mountain is mm. area. Okay. Different. Different girl. Different girl. Might be a different girl. Ethan, where'd you go? Uh, you were my guide. Uh, yeah, you should go get William, Ethan. Well, baby, I died, and I have to make all my way back to spawn me in the opposite side of the like area. Like I spawned like okay. furthest Shoot. east. Put down a bed, babe. Yeah, I would we love need to put, put down a bed, down. but I don't have I have a, a sleeping of the... bag. But... Oh wait, I see someone. Uh, I see James. 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 My 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 bones wait, are, are you broken. Both in the tribe? If I'm I make a the bed, tribe. then if you die, y'all can then respawn at the bed. I am gonna die though. No, no, do no, 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 no. Okay, what do I need to make a bed? Someone, oh, I see. I Ethan. need that action mode Ethan. really quick. Okay. What? Where are you guys? Ethan, across the stream. Look, look across. Oh. It's Ethan. Hi, Ethan. Why howdy? Does anyone have food? Oh. Homie's fishing. Leave him alone. That's, Kill him. that's crazy. No mercy. I don't eat raw meat like that. Wait, is there a random guy? It's my dead body. Oh. Y'all need to form a wait, shield wait. wall Nate. around me, because <laughs> I am- James, put him down. Wait, put him down. Oh my god. It is a random person. Guys, I need to reach- I am on my last limb. My bone is broken, and I'm cold? I think? Oh, the ice cube is cold, fuck. I think. I put down a bed. Yeah. Ice I see, cube is I, I see very the building cold. and shit. Fuck me. What fuck, building? Fuck, 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 it? It's a terror bird. Oh, yeah, you you oh. keep training that. Keep training that. Uh, oh, just fuck. Just run straight. So, run after straight. repeatedly dying through mishaps and all this other shit, I respawned again, and I just wandered around. It was getting dark, so I knew making it home, I would die in some way because of it being too cold, or I'd be, have uh, a lot less health. So, you know, even like a little compy could fuck me up, maybe. And, um, I offered my sweet meat to a Dilatha store who, uh, enjoyed this meal. And they had actually placed a bed, some had placed a bed, but I had to wait for a little bit to use the bed because William had just used it. I have to wait two minutes to spawn on the bed. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go piss. We might need to get a berry. Oh, is berry it because I used it? So I waited for my uh, my bed to be used, and I sat on my phone, um, looking at things that we were going to gather because I wanted to get a moss chops, but we were also thinking of parasaurs and all this other fun shit. But after I respawned in our house. I found a very fun friend that's just waiting to say hi to their new neighbors. You know, Summer had a, uh, had a, uh, you know, I think initiated a gang war. She had killed one of their homies. So I think one of them was back to get their licks. Oh, thank the Lord. 
It's eating a body as we speak. It's hitting the house. I don't know where you died. On it. I'm just gonna punch it. Summer. <laughs> what? I don't know if we can kill it while punching it. I mean, probably not. I didn't say you had to punch it. Well, I'm back. Gonna... Why? What happened? Summer. It's just a raptor. No, I have to wait four minutes. God damn it. Ethan, it's fine. Welcome to a very special segment that I like to call ARC's Survival Out of Context. First, social security number zero or one? I don't know. Or was it Just like tell me your social I'm not that old. combination no at the way. start? No one's saying oh no. <laughs> Gang, gang. So thanks, Sorry, Gary Queen. Queen. Thank Enjoy. you for the rose. My Thank friend Nathan wants rose. to know. I hate those mm, videos. Popcorn's so good. Mmm, popcorn's so good. I'm gonna they lose made, my mind. They made me worry. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Oh, thanks for the glizzy. <laughs> <laughs> those are crazy. <laughs> I know. I hate the word glizzy. <laughs> Why? It makes me uncomfortable. I don't know. Glizzy. Call it a hot dog. No, it's a glizzy. It's a glizzy in my heart. Oh yeah, I you said live I was in Kentucky. Gonna take my you this <laughs> okay, and why are you saying glizzy? Yeehaw! Just because I live in an all-white state does not mean ah. I have to go we're down to back the to what I normally Give me a pack of glizzies. <laughs> yeah, like I'm going I'm down to the Please. the store to get me some glizzies. You want anything? Going home? down to the mart. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. The corner mart. <laughs> My bitch is built like a Pixar mom. That's funny. Is torso depth how they say titties? Yeah, I think so. That's crazy. Hey guys, I just Thank shitted you. on the beach. Man, I just shitted on them. Shitted on them. Wait, there's a compie trying to eat my pussy. My soft shell. Hey, yo. So yeah, but I. does it come... Does it come full? Now. Summer, I'm not black. I'm just tan. What? Because it was a baby still. I didn't want them to have a free baby wyvern. So I was like, I gotta kill it. So I had to kill that wyvern. And Sometimes then... Sometimes you gotta kill your kids. It's a good bird. It just looks like a bad bird. But it's a good bird. I'm gonna go kill myself, guys. I think I see a shark in the water. So the raptor ended up pulling up on us. And we got smoked. Pretty bad. And it was in the middle of the night, where it was freezing fucking cold, so I just offered my body, repeatedly, to be used, and uh, just waited for our bed to respawn. So here's um, a fun little segment of me just repeatedly dying. Again. <laughs> we, we have to wait for the timer. Oh my god, what the <laughs> fuck is attacking me? Fucking terror bird. Oh my fucking Honestly, god. Honestly, I'll just Oh yeah. my god, I spawn died. Here, let me get the let me get the bed thing so I can make another bed. I can't oh. see uh <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Alan's a beast. But through trials and tribulations, the bed was actually be able to use it. We actually had two, because Nathan had lived near, but um, I'd respawn at our house. I went back to the little area where I got robbed, and I received all of my good belongings. Then I had gone where I was originally going to do before I died, which was grab all the crates that had um, useful materials in it. So I grabbed all those, and I proceeded on my way home. As I was heading to the house, there were a lot of bodies around the house, so I harvested mine, as well as Summer's, and I think James's body was also there, so we could get all those, you know, that meat, and turn it into either spoiled or cook all of it, either or. That little fucking ba raptor bastard tore up our entire home, so after I just got done resource gathering to hell and back, I had to go all the way back and get all the resources to fix up this house thankfully since uh it was a thatch hut and there wasn't a whole lot of um depth to our building uh it 
was able to be fixed within uh, like a trip or two. But as um, I'm getting completed through this house and I'm uh, fixing all the little holes that this this man thought would be a great um, uh, addition to our house, Nathan had spotted a certain animal that needed to be contained. So he asked us to help since it was nearby and was getting closer. And uh, I get all the preparations that I need to uh, help him contain this animal because our mission was to like i think take it to the afterlife or something like that you know legally of course and um i get my my stuff that i need which was just a bola and a my like a spear or something and nathan leads me to this this demon and then we end up bullying it and then helping it uh traverse into the next life so mission completed we do what we were told to do and i look through my engrams to see uh, what level is, um, Trank Arrows, because I don't know all these stuff off the top of my head, I'm a fucking idiot. And, uh, I was looking towards it because I wanted to tame a Parasaur. I realized I had to be level 21, which I'm nowhere near, and I decided to get a Wooden Club because I was set in stone on taming a Parasaur. I had already made Bolas since I had just been carrying them for everyone to use, and I made my club. And then I went on my miraculous adventure to look for a parasaur. No, I was lying. I was lying. It wasn't a miraculous adventure. I walked literally like 20 steps north of my house and I found a parasaur. The level on the parasaur wasn't really that good. It was a level 55, but I didn't want to take my chances on finding another one. So I ended up tying its legs uh, with consent, of course. And I took my club out and I um, asked him if it was okay. And I proceeded to beat his brains out. Now, through me trying to do this, my club breaks because I'm a I'm not a very smart person. I don't have a spare one, and it breaks out of my bola. So I'm sitting there like an idiot trying to chase it around. You little fucker, you're gonna get it. Where'd you go? Oh, you're gonna get it. So now, enter classic find a roll scene in a horror movie. I'm running around, trying to chase this damn parasaur, and I miss bola number one. It runs into a wall. It does this little thing. It starts running again. I miss bola number two. And then, as I'm trying to get close to it and beat his brains in, like it asked me to, it uh, yeets itself off a cliff. No, don't run off of there. What is wrong with you? Do we have a cooking pot? No. So sadly, uh, I failed this mission horribly. I should be very disappointed in myself. I ended up giving up on the Parasaur. I did not want to chase it. I didn't have any bolas. And I knew one club wouldn't knock it out. So, instead of, you know, being a, a mature person and uh, taking it upon myself, you know, reflecting, I take my spear out and I find this poor little oviraptor that's just being chilling in the water. And then I proceed to take my anger out on him. Like, I just got home from work. So, anger all finally fueled out of my systems. You know, I was able to take it out on, on something. Uh, living, of course. Don't take that out of context. And um, I proceed to walk back to the house. And I realize there is a metal node by the house. And I proceed to uh, harvest it since we didn't have any metal. And I just thought it would be nice to have it. And I realize sooner than later that uh, we don't have a refining forge, number one. Number two, none of us are high enough level to make the refining forge. So I had gotten all this material for fucking nothing. And it was just sitting in this box waiting for us to hit the right level. So my idiocy aside... Um, we just uh, takes our time to uh, add some more things to the house, like sleeping bags. And uh, I invest in a Parasaur saddle, since uh, I was going to retry it and uh, make some more bolas and preparations like that. When, as I'm doing all this, we get a special word from uh, Summer and Nathan about um, opposing threats that are near the house. Oh, the Brontos like are seven. fighting each other. The girls are fighting. No, they're fighting. Oh, no, they're, 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 fighting. Fighting. Oh, they're right. fighting Rexes. They're fighting Somewhere there. Rexes. Somewhere. Oh, they're, not fighting they're, they're fighting, fighting Rexes. Multiple Rexes. 
How many Rexes? Is, there's three. You can, oh, you the Rexes three Rexes? Won. The Rexes won the fight. Yeah, there's three oh, no. Rexes. Yeah, there's three. Summer, oh, why are we Lord. spectating this Rex fight? We need to run. Because they're heading this way. Up. So thanks to Summer and um, Nathan for their 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 brave efforts to let us know about this uh, this danger that is coming towards us. Um, you would think someone like me um, would stay inside and mind my business until these uh these little Rexes decide to go uh, kill something else. Um, but I offer myself as a snack because I go outside and look for a parasaur during these Rexes roaming around unattested. And as I'm looking around, trying to look for my parasaur with no spy glass, uh, I proceed to see what they were talking about. Oh my god, there are three Rexes. Yeah, what, you thought I was lying? No, I thought maybe, well, you said there was like two, three, and then four, so I'm like, I'm really curious, there are three. There's three, yeah. And as I am um, walking the other way, you know, trying to avoid them, trying to find myself a parasaur, some way, somehow, I walk down the wrong alleyway, maybe a weird little street, something like that, and it leads me straight to these, uh, these, these hooligans, and they end up stumbling over a rock, and they uh, greet me with um, some very nice words. I totally did not shit my pants. She didn't say hi back. But that's the full team. Oh What'd you do? Did you guys bring them? I'm not near the house, so you can't put this on me. But with my excellent maneuvers and running around, um, I somehow lose these things, but I spot an alpha raptor eating a body. So as I'm trying to run around and hide, I spot a, a body of a dead uh, animal. It looked like a carno. I think it was. I'm not too sure. I can't tell when they're dead. And I harvest its insides, I mind my business, and then I actually stumble upon a parasaur. So I run up behind this parasaur and I bowl it, making sure I have three clubs in my inventory. And I proceed to consensually beat his brains in again. But uh, some way, somehow, this parasaur doesn't get knocked out. I don't know how, I break my club, and then it breaks out somehow i don't know what why it's fearing for its life or what for, or whatever reason so i get my other bowl out and i try to trap it again but um i miss it and i'm like oh lord here i go again i'm about to miss all these damn things but with persistence and patience i'm actually able to nail it the second time and try to beat into submission now, I don't know if this parasaur has been a, like a UFC fighter in its days, or it's taken a lot of hits to the head, but for whatever fucking reason, this motherfucker will not knock out, and I've beaten him pretty bad with these clubs. He breaks out again, and then those Rexes that try to scare me, they got to him. I'm whistling. I just whistled right into your territory. That is crazy. I'm gonna invest what? in a large storage box. Do we think that's a good idea? So with another failed mission attempt, God, I hope oh, I'm so disappointed in myself. I, I, I don't talk to me. I don't even want to be talked to. Please stop. My head that way, with my head down, shoulders shrugged. I can't even talk about the disappointment. I don't even want to think about it. I'll start crying right now. And uh, I head home. And Summer, like she said, uh, had put time in her storage box. So I moved all of our brand new materials, you know, all our stuff that we've already gathered, and I try to move it into the new improved Freddy Fat. I mean, sorry, the new and improved storage boxes. So I get all the meat that I had gathered through, um, you know, running around and harvesting, and I put it all in the campfire for us to, to uh, have all meat that we can enjoy together. And I decide on making a slingshot as well as a bow um the bow could help me kill things from afar, uh, afar as well as the slingshot could help me knock things out a little bit easier than the club since the club had already let me down three times now mind you i never made a slingshot before so all i knew is that it took stone and i fiddled around with it and i uh i felt like a little kid throwing little rocks at people potentially harming them in some way but i was a kid so it didn't really matter and 
I proceeded to collect some stone, uh, some ammo for it, since I know I would need it at some point in time. Um, with my new acquired bow, I realized I don't have any arrows. So I go on a little spree to get some flint and uh, get as much as I can of that. And I go to get some fiber and I run to a very, very unique friend. He was roaming around the block, you know, I, I guess trying to find new customers or whatever. And uh, I just ended up running into him and he thought I was uh, undercover for whatever reason. I don't know. He saw my badge and he kind of stormed at me. <laughs> oh my so with my taser God. that I'm uh, not... a uh, trained with at all i mindlessly shot at this thing and then um i was on the ground you know completely seized up and minding his business you know completely detained i took my weapon and i uh, executed it and then um i went back to my normal everyday life you know collecting fiber uh getting some thatch and wood to help make some more materials and going back and collecting more fiber and um when i got to the house william wanted um my help and Summers to uh, help him capture Pteranodon, make it his new friend. So uh, I get prepared with uh, the sp new stone that I already acquired, but to make Ebola to help him, you know, get this Pteranodon. But as we are surveying around the area, seeing where we can find a Pteranodon that he would like, um, we end up running into uh, a fight. Uh, and instead of going in and trying to help, stop it and all that uh i take my phone out and i start recording it even though i know someone's life is in danger i can just walk to the house really quick it just takes one hide what level is this rex guys the t-rex is by my house he killed another brontosaurus i need to get some water I'm he's help. by your house you want me to help you that means he's pretty to close to yeah. our <laughs> house <laughs> oh my god yeah he's right there you want me to help you kill it, Nathan? Somewhere. I'm on high ground. He's I right there. I have the there. high ground again. Let's go. Let's yeah, I job, did that. Guys. That worked. Thankfully, to my utter bravery and all that, after he had committed the murder, um, through loopholes some way, I don't know how to even explain it, I was actually able to kill this Rex and um, get all my rewards through it without prosecution, of course. So... Uh, we get all that done, and I head towards the house to regroup and have us survey the area around again to help him find his pteranodon. So, I grabbed uh, some meat to go outside and uh, get some more materials, and I also have a shit ton of meat in my inventory, don't ask why, and I am getting ready to spoil all of it. And as I'm looking around, I run into a pteranodon, and surprisingly, the levels of that pteranodon made me super jealous. I wanted it for myself, but due to my kind heart and who I am as a person, uh, I trapped this thing and I helped, uh, I asked William and Summer to help me knock it out. A Tyrannodon? Yeah, it's 140. Everyone slingshot it. Make sure you hit it. Oh shit, I wasn't ready. It has to be in the head, right? Hopefully we don't kill it. <laughs> <laughs> this is assault and battery. It's gonna die. I don't think so. Yeah. We proceed to knock out this Pteranodon through our means and our efforts as a team. Shout out my team. And um, But satisfi uh, William wasn't satisfied enough. At the time, he wanted a Parasaur as well. So um, me and him, I know I had trouble looking for one. So we go down towards the river where we find, um, I guess, a, a potential friend of the Rexes that we... Um, committed a hate crime against so he wasn't too happy about running into us and it started a war that would never end oh my fucking oh. god oh my god i'm trying to kill these what's that in the water on. to the left there's a t-rex there's a t-rex 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 oh, i don't hear boss at? music there's a t-rex um in the water what level is it? yeah okay. oh it's coming it's coming it's right by you buddy it's killing oh, okay. the ducky it's killing Ducky. What, are we gonna shoot it with Rockies? That'd be a great idea. I'm too far from it. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall. We I'm gonna fall. Level? I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. <laughs> okay. We we see it level. No, I I don't I'll see it level. An and then we'll rock it. He went back to it's the water. Like one. There was like a blue parasaur around he down this it. like on the sh oh. <laughs>
Oh my god. <laughs> there was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, there's a Carno. Do we want a Carno? Yeah. Oh my Ow. fucking god. What? Do you not see that? Oh shit. There's the T-Rex oh, up on the oh, mountain. Oh, uh, yeah, he's, he's walking up the mountain. He's about to be the Nathan's house in a second. Why is he trying to... Wait, oh, yeah, he actually is going that way. He's right by me. Please, T-Rex, allow me to get water. Please don't engage in combat until I cure my thirst. Why are you shooting it? Because I was going to lead it down. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, do that. Uh, do that, yeah, 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 yeah. Are we fighting this bitch? Or are we I just... I think. I don't know. Because I'm on the ground. Oh, my God. I'm not on the... Oh my god, I shitted. Oh, the Karno and him are fighting. Did he roar at y'all? Yeah. I hit her. <laughs> oh, I see it. <laughs> Summer. You're, you're fine. Summer, you're fine. Summer, you're fine. Summer, you're fine. It's not too soon. I need to go get water. So, we get assaulted pretty bad. We get uh ganged up on. But I'm actually able to respawn, and I actually respawned in Nathan's house. I couldn't tell which bed I was spawning in. So I respawned in Nathan's house. I'm actually able to go back and retrieve my stuff. And as I'm running my way back to help with this Rex problem, I run into that old Carno friend who uh, just didn't have enough of me just yet. No dinosaurs were that out. None at all. In a way that <laughs> makes it Guys, I didn't lead a wyvern back to the house, I swear. <laughs> What's a wyvern? I don't really know what that is. Okay, I'm coming back to the, to my home. The Carno ends up getting the best of me, again, and um, I respawn, and this is where, as a group, we are faced with a challenge that we all have to tackle together, and we actually start to prepare for this war. And um, we start rummaging around. We had lost sight of the Rex for a little while. And the Carno, we ended up leading away. It ended up never really doing anything to us. But it started getting really late at night. And it was starting to become more apparent that the longer we were staying in this area, the harder it was going to be to stay here through these um, animals able to rummage through our home. But through connections and all that, Nathan actually spotted the rex flip side of his house and i start to take action against this rex as i am taking action against this rex with my arrows from a very high point where he can't hurt me i guess the rex had um an alliance with the raptors and it would proceed to bring up a challenge where they had set up a distraction for me to deal with and we were all trying to rummage around because I was the only one on this rocket and I had to direct everyone towards where I was. And it led to him talking to these raptors and saying up the flank of a lifetime. A depocitus. Oh, there's a there's a tech there's a tech Look raptor behind you guys. <laughs> oh what? wait, let's aim it. I don't have a bola. I have two bolas if you, you want. You got a bola. Yeah. I'm not over there. Six? I don't have bullet. anything to tame this stupid thing. By the way, did you bullet? That's actually a lie. I do have this stuff. It's still chasing me. What the hell? Ooh, it's getting a little low. I'm gonna go sit in your house for a little bit. Here, William, 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 that come back. Oh my God, it's still chasing me. Where is it? Summer, stay still. No. I just I'm got dead. back. Oh, let's go by normal raptor. Oh my god. There's another There's raptor. Another raptor. Oh, yeah. Go, Nathan, go. I was like, wait, that's not a, a tag raptor. They are all over the place. Holy fucking moly. They're just is it safe to like... leave the house? No, I don't think it is. <laughs> Where are they at? Going away, going away. Guys, I was not ready for any of that. <laughs> Please, bro. I'm feeling. No, no. No, <laughs> bitch. After that literal flank of a lifetime, after, you know, they, they set up the, the best distraction they've ever set up, 
and they fooled us into a self safe like a false sense of security um we stay in the house and we try to regroup and try to take this raptor the tech raptor actually makes a very big mistake getting a little aggressive with this uh, play we ends up getting bola and instead of us taming it we thought it was too much of a threat to knock it out and we ended up killing it and the other raptor summer had ran into she had bullet it and wanted to knock it out and tame it since we didn't have a aggressor just yet but it ended up breaking out and since it had a high torpor it ended up running from us and we actually ended up never seeing this raptor ever again we all instead went on our own little missions summer and william went to go chase after that raptor and knock it out and me and nathan decided to go back to where we need to end all of this and end this war finally so we ran back to the cliff where the rex was, still was surprisingly and we ended up killing him oh okay i see it where is it is that on the the hill yeah is it hey sweetie i missed fall on the side. okay i have another one just in case do you try we're hitting him an eyeball. I think. I think Why is she not attacking okay, I, us? I, don't, I think oh, it's because oh, oh, it's torpor. Oh, is... he's he's fighting dead. Oh well. Ethan, you you overdid it, Ethan. Oh well. I got it's like running away from us. Yeah, I think it's because it's torpor's high. What's that? I know it's It's like it what's to knock it out. We actually did it. We came together as a group, and we were finally able to put this all behind us as a group. And we were actually able to bring peace back to our area. Democracy was perfect. No corruption anywhere in our world. Everything was finally at peace. And that's what we thought as we were getting in the house and seeing where we were going to go from there. But through some ways, life always finds a way to bring new challenges. And when we thought... It was finally the end of all of this craziness. We come to find out it would just only be the beginning. Oh, what's summer? What? Oh, it's an alpha raptor.